Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support, ladies and gentlemen. There is a house we are yet to complete for Dominic and Mercy that we were building. They have already finished uh, Kuboma and we are remaining with only three windows. We already have one window. We are remaining with three windows. Tulienda tukaweka milango, tukamaliza. So tumebakisha derisha mbili, tumalizana na hiyo nyumba kabisa. Wahame, waingia ndani. Kama mungu atakuguza utusaidie hizo derisha tatu, mungu ata kuinua sana. Derisha moja is around 3,000. So we need like 9,000. Tumalize hizo maderisha na hiyo nyumba tumalizane na hiyo kabisa. Ilo waingia ndani, waanze maisha rasmi. Back to the Kenyan politics. In the politics, there is nothing that happens without a plan. Everything that you see happening in the politics, it has a mission to achieve. If you see a politician speaking something in public, they have a mission to achieve. Weeks ago, at a funeral in Luanyanza, Kalonzo Msioka, while Baba was out of this country, clearly said that we are forming a shadow cabinet fully funded by the government of Kenya. People could not understand what this man was talking about. People were like Kalonzo. Na vile ruta ameapa kwamba there is no handshake. What do you really, what are you talking about? Nobody could understand. I came in this platform, I remember, and told you, watch the space. Kalosa told Kenyans that when Raila comes back, we are forming a shadow cabinet fully funded to keep the Kenya Kwanza government in check. People thought it was a joke. People thought Kalonzo is out of his mind. People thought Kalonzo is speaking for the sake of speaking. Gentlemen. Kalonzo meant it the way he spoke it. Now let me tell you, the news reaching my desk is President William Ruto is under stiff pressure from the western countries to forcibly create the office of an official opposition leader. Get it right. This is not propaganda. The president is under stiff pressure from the western countries. The western countries are pushing the president to create an official office of the opposition leader. Now, this office of the opposition leader it will have immense powers which include it will be fully funded by the exchequer meaning the office of the opposition leader will be fully funded by the Kenyan government number two the opposition leader will have powers to annually address the national assembly The office will be given powers to solicit funding from well-wishers. And already as we speak, the Western countries have instructed the Azimio members of parliament to draft a bill that will be forwarded to parliament to amend the constitution to insert a section that creates an official office of the opposition leader. Listen, Kenyans. As we speak already, you know, 
Raila Odinga had a parliamentary group meeting this week and the members of parliament briefed Raila on the same on the progress this is not Raila's okay this is not the members of parliament these ideas no the idea is beyond William Ruto it is something that is being pushed by the Western Cat. That is why of late you've seen Rail Odinga positioning himself to powerfully oppose the Kenya Kwanza government. You've seen the steps he has taken. One of them is to oppose the removal of the Cherera 4. Two is to oppose the GMO and the importation of cheap maize. Number three, he is asking the Kenya Kwanzaa government to deliver its promises, which includes lowering the cost of living. Already Raila has announced that during Jamhuri Day, as William Ruto is celebrating his national Jamhuri Day, Raila Odinga will separately celebrate his Jamhuri Day as the people's president. <laughs> Raila has already announced, this is something that is in the public domain, that during Jamhuri Day, as the president will be celebrating the constitution of Jamhuri Day, Raila Odinga will have his parallel rally to celebrate Jamhuri Day as the people's president. And I don't know where people will attend. Siji kama watu wataenda mkutano ya Ruto hiyo siku, hama watu watakwenda mkutano ya Raila. But you know, we have the media, we shall see how these things will unfold. So we are waiting to see how things will move. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's something I want you to get. The document that has been drafted by the members of parliament is giving Raila Odinga powers to address the parliament to nominate persons to constitutional statutory commissions and as well as gaining funding from the exchequer. That means from the budget. Now, according to Article 92A3 of the document that is being proposed by the members of parliament, the leader of official position will be allowed to identify and appoint such staff as shall be necessary for the execution of the said office whose renumerations, benefits, and allowances shall be drawn from the exchequer subject to the salaries and remuneration commission. Now, after the constitution has been amended and they have inserted the official office of the opposition leader, Raila Odinga or that office will be given powers to solicit for employees who will be working in that office. And those employees will be fully paid salary by the government, by the SRC. Oh, hey, I'm telling you. The office will have workers, that is employees. And those employees will fully be given their retirement benefits. They will be given allowances. And they will be fully paid and recognized by the SRC. The Salaries and Remuneration Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, the proposed document also seeks to amend Article 260 of the Constitution to include the office of the opposition leader under state office. Now, if the document goes through parliament and it succeeds, then 
you know somebody can ask me kaka kenya kwanza has the majority will the document see the light of the day listen this is beyond ruto's powers it is something that is being pushed by some powerful bodies that is western countries if ruto will refuse then you know what western countries will do it includes denying kenya norms and you want to survive so ruto must succumb to the pressure to create the office now the office of raila odinga will be under state under the state yani najua the office of the president is under the state now the office of the official opposition will also be under the state so raila will be working like a co-president hey baba si mungu anakupenda <laughs> now this is what the draft says the leader of opposition shall be the candidate nominated by a political party or a coalition party or a coalition of political parties which secures the second greatest number of votes in any concluded presidential election and whose political party receives at least 25% of all members of the national assembly which the azimio already has now listen ladies and gentlemen you know William Ruto is under pressure the western countries want to impose i don't know it's because of the reason ruto's actions i don't know why the western countries are pushing for this i don't know but then the western countries want to push raila into the state so that raila can put william ruto in check in whatever he does though the opposition leader's office that is the azmio the second largest party in the country it seems to be already in the final touches of locking in the deal of having raila odinga as the official um leader of the position last ladies and gentlemen this idea originated from kalonzo msioka kalonzo akawambia baba kirudi tunaunda ofisi yenye itakuwa funded by the government mukafikiria yeye ni wazimu now it's coming to pass yes he must do it for Ruto to successively run government he must find a way of sharing powers with Raila hakuna shortcut or else hii Kenya hakutakalika mm? you know Raila Raila is not a kid in politics Raila is not new in politics you know what Raila is able to do you know what Raila is capable of doing if he decides to do it so what is supposed to be done Raila must be given a kick simple This is this has been happening. Baba ni baba. And I'm lucky. Kaka I say I hey, am a lucky man. Hey, I hey, am a lucky man to have lived in times of Raila Odinga. I am a lucky man that William Ruto is ruling in the era of Baba Raila Amolo Odinga. I am a lucky man in this country. I'm a lucky man. Why? because we know when a baba is breathing no one will ever joke no one no one hakuna mtu no one will ever joke in this government muliona baba na rashawa nyinyi mkafikiria ni picha ya kawaida ndugu zangu ni siasa ni siasa ha ha nyinyi oneni siasa vile mnaiona kwa tv 
Oneni siasa vile mnaiona kwa television. Oneni siasa vile mnaiona kwa Facebook na Twitter na WhatsApp. Siasa yale mambo yanafanyika hapa nyuma hapa. Utajua haujui? Ladies and gentlemen, now I can confidently say. Najua kuna watu wamekuwa na uoga baba. Kaka tuambie hii serikali inaenda wapi? Kaka tu, we are on, we are in safe hands. Tuko kwa mikono safi. Ile mkono mambo inaelekea tuko kwa mikono salama. Sisi tumekombolewa na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Ile direction baba anatupeleka wa Kenya kweli na confidence. Tuko mahali salama. Na kama wewe ni mtu ambaye ulizaliwa wakati Ruto anakuwa president and Raila Odinga is alive, you should go into church, sacrifice for God to have been brought you up in the dispensation of Ruto's presidency when Baba is alive. Twende kanisa na tupeane offering ndugu zangu. Twende kanisa. Tumutolee Mungu zawadi kwa kutupatia Ruto kama president wakati Baba Raila Odinga yuko hai na bado ako na nguvu. Hiyo ndiyo zawadi Mungu alitupatia. Beyond that, we have no any other thing to thank God. Hiyo tu. Twende kanisani, tuambie Mungu ni asante kwa kutuletea Ruto kama rais wakati baba yuko. Ruto angekuja president kama baba hayuko. Wa Kenya. Sijui sahi kaka mimi ningekuwa nazungumzia sijui Canada ama wapi. Singekuwa hii Kenya, ningekuwa ningekuwa hata Brazil. Ningetoroka hii Kenya kabisa. But we thank God. Baba is there. Let's a German tuzidi kuombe nchi yetu ya taifa, tuzidi kuombe baba wetu and let's the, the idea I want to challenge you. Hii idea wewe ukienda kulala, wekeni hii amendment kwa maombi. Ambia Mungu baba wetu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya wabunge wetu waazimio ambao wameleta hii amendment katika katiba yetu ya Kenya baba tunakuomba vile unaishi tafadhali zungumza na mioyo ya wabunge bungeni zungumza na mioyo ya Ruto zungumza na mioyo ya kila mmoja ili hao wabunge watakapopeleka hii amendment bill parliament watu wa, watu wa Kenya kwanza waone vimulimuli na, na... ndugu zangu Twende ni kwa maombi. Kuanzia leo. After this video. Kama wewe ni mtu anaye support Raila. Kama wewe ni supporter ya Zimio. Tafadhali endeni kwa magoti na katika kusali. Tujinyime chakula hata wiki moja. We fast and tell God. Mungu Wabunge wazimio watakapoenda bungeni kuweka muswada. Baba wa Ibrahimu, Isaka na Yakobo. Ulie muumba baba wetu na ukaumba Kenya. Atakapo wapeleka wale wabunge bungeni kupeleka muswada. Baba Mungu, ulivyo wafumba macho wale ambao walienda kupigana na nabii wako Elisha Mungu tunaomba Wabunge wazimio watakapoenda bungeni Baba ulete vimulimuli na giza katika wabunge wa UDA Uwafunike macho wasione chochote Wanapopiga kura wapigie hii muswada na ipita asubuhi na mapema Ili watakapopitisha sisi tutakimbia hapa kwa street na kukurudishia asante na kukupatia sacrifice na kuabudu kanisani. Kwa hivyo Mungu tutakapoanza kuomba na kuombea hii muswada ya bunge tunaomba uanze kufunika hawa watu macho ambao weko na mipango ya kuharibu mambo ingine ile ya kiserikali. Baba Vile ulitupatia uhuru Kenyata pia umetupatia baba. Hii muswada ipita asubuhi na mapema funga macho hawa wadosi. Ukienda kwa ofisi ya speaker ya bunge ambaye ni Moses Wetangula. Funga yeye macho mara moja. 
Ukifuka pande mwingine ukifika kwa chivu kibisilevana sosoro. Baba funga ye macho mara moja. Uketembea ile ofisi ingine ukipanda kemani chungwa. Funga ye macho asubuhi na mapema. Uketembea pande kwingine ukipanda na musadia. Funga ye macho mara moja. Ukigeuka pande mwingine ukipatana na Didimas. Funga ye macho. Ukipita chini ukipitana na kina nini nyoro. Funga ye macho kabisa. Ukipita pande mwingine ukikutana na kina Oscar Sudi. Hao funga macho mara moja. Baba, utakapo pita hii pande nyingine hii. Upande juu kwa ile nyumba kubwa ya wadosi inaitwa Senet. Ukipatana huko na hao watu wanaitwa huyu speaker wa Senet. Baba, funga ye macho Amazon King pita kwa ofisi yake weka kitambaa, funika macho. Hii kitu iko na pita asubuhi na mapema na sisi watu ya simio ikaenda kanisani na kukupa sifa na tukufu. Hey, kisungu ya kisumu mimi iko toa wapi? Mungu bariki wewe. Asanteni.